This is going to be a quick demo of the new Timdal view, which released in the January update for Power BI Desktop. Um, so Timdal, for those of you who don't know, is the tabular model definition language. Um, and having this available to us in Desktop is going to allow for a lot of functionality that previously you would have had to go outside into an external tool like Tabular Editor. Uh, and the use case I found just today, just a nice handy quality of life thing, um, is around role-playing dimensions and really any case where you have the same table repeated in multiple models. So if you work in an enterprise environment or you know large or even medium-sized environment, you probably have this where maybe you have a dimension table that is shared by multiple models, um, or even within the same model, like this demo I'm gonna share, you've got uh, a materials table, and then I'm gonna have a role-playing dimension for a components table. Now these two tables are equivalent, they have all the same fields, they come from the same source, uh, but let's say you have a material table where you've gone in and you've done all your descriptions, you've added metadata, you've changed formatting, you know, you have all of your fields organized in a nice folder structure. Maybe you've even added synonyms for Q&A. Um, and you want to leverage all that metadata into another table. Uh, so with Timdall view, we can do that quite easily. So if I hop over to the new Timdall view, um, what we can do is I'm just going to open up a new script here. Uh, and I'm going to right click on my materials table and script it to this tab. Uh, and now we have a definition of the entire table, which contains uh, everything, including my descriptions, uh, if I've chosen to summarize or not summarize certain columns, if I've defined display folders, uh, basically all the metadata that you would have in your semantic model that you may want to move elsewhere. So maybe I want to move this to another model, but in this case, uh, I'm going to move it only to my components table, which like I said, is the exact same table, I just want to organize it in the same way. So right now it is just the raw table, I've got all these fields tossed in here, and what I wanna do is take all of the uh, descriptions and folders and apply them to the components table, because after all, it's the exact same table. Now one thing I realized when you're working with Tyndall View um, is that you know, if you're gonna be moving metadata between tables like this, you may want to consider, uh, there's this property called the lineage tag. Uh, we're not interested in moving lineage tags between components because these, these are unique IDs. If you, try to, if you try to overwrite a table with a lineage tag from another table, you're gonna get an error message. Uh, so what, one thing I'll share uh, in the video description is there's a nice regular expression pattern that will let you strip out all these lineage tags. So what I've done is I've scripted out my materials table. I'm going to run this regex and just do a nice, uh, you know, replace with nothing and strip out all of my lineage tags. So uh, then I'm going to replace this materials with components. And now I'm gonna overwrite my components table with uh, all the metadata from my materials table. So I'm gonna hit apply and here at the bottom it says we've successfully applied the Tyndall script and now my components table, um, because I've overwritten it, I've also overwritten the partition, it's gonna need a refresh. Uh, but now as you can see, um, all of my folder structure, even the comments for my columns have all been applied to this other table. So this is a really nice time saver. You, yes, you could do this before with external tools, but now you could do it directly in desktop, right? So I can copy this metadata over to a new model. Maybe I'm working on a new semantic model that has many of the same dimension tables. Maybe you have a nice calendar table that you've created that's very well organized. You have descriptions, you have you know, different flag fields, everything is laid out very well. Uh, and you wanna copy all of that, not just the raw table and the data, but you also want to have all this metadata come over. So that's really it. Just wanted to call out that, uh, you know, day one of using this feature, already loving it. Um, excited to see what else we can do.